Hi, welcome and thank you for your order or resubscribing or subscribing. Um, this month's subscriber's gift or order, um, you will receive this Missile Gongoya daisies. How cute are these? They are really simple and easy to make and fast as well. Well, it depends actually what you want to do. If you would like to color them like these and very detailed if you look at the orange at the um, the petals I have okay, you can see the details there you see that on the petals the orange one so okay that's not fast to do but as if you know my work I'm very much into um, all the flowers and details so um, I will be showing this in the tutorial. So let's just let's just start. Perfect flower for spring and very um, cheerful flower as well. So we have two petals, a uh, flower template I mean. We will be needing our embossing tool or I mean fingernail art tool it is they are also called embossing tool and they're very small and I always use this for like veining for example or a mini tiny template so I will have I'm going to emboss the back the back of the paper well, I don't know what kind of paper you're using but um, if you don't know what your bag is, I would suggest to head back to the store or the online shop where you bought it and ask them what the bag is of the paper. Because I can't tell you what the bag is of your paper. And most of the time, like mine, the bag for this one, um, uh, this artist sketching paper, well, it's obviously what's the back and what's the front. The, the, you know, it's a pad, so the top is top and the back is back so, so what I'm gonna do is this I'm just gonna draw it out for you I have here I bought this drawing pad but I think it's too thin and um, this like 24 LB I think yeah it's a thin, didn't really like it, but now I can use it, like, you know, when I'm coloring or whatever. So we have here, oh, a petal. I hope you can see. It's very light, right? Yeah, you can see that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss. First, the center, like that, okay? And then... Follow the shape very close to the edge of the petal, just like that. It's very messy, but you see, that's what you do. I had to show that because, well, you can't, you won't be seeing that here. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've already done it, but I'm just gonna do it again. I think I don't know why but I've already done the sides so I'm just gonna do the middle and if you're using sketching paper also then I would suggest to emboss first because when you're coloring your vein will come out very beautiful really pretty to my opinion so one more here and we're done I already prepared that so if you think well did she done that fast because I already prepared this one um I have used all kinds of um, coloring material I have used um, paint for this one 
and I just painted them. Um, I believe it was from Artiste acrylic paint, rose pink, and I bought this during a workshop from someone in the group. Her name is Ilona van Otta, and she has a web shop, but um, she doesn't. Um, she doesn't have the ink in the in the shops in her web shop but um, if you would like you can just um, send her a private message and um, yeah order the paint it's really affordable and it's lovely I love this paint I really do and this is not affiliated I do not get anything for it if you purchase there it's just you know But I just wanted to share, I saw these colors and I was like, I was sold immediately. And this one I paint with just ink pads. And as you can see also here, it will show you that if you, I'm not sure if I can focus. If you do the vape, yeah, it's really hard to see on the, oh here, you can, ah, from this angle. So if you do the veining first, then you will have this beautiful effect. You see? Um, I'm not sure which one I want to show. Uh, this one was my one of my prototypes, which I obviously not good. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, it has been adjusted. Um, I'm not sure which I'm gonna show. I'm gonna either the ink pads or the yellow one. This is a combination of um, soft pastels or you can use pan pastel and then ink pads in the center. Um, so acrylic paint and they're just plain white. Um, so it's really hard which one to show. I am not sure. I might go for this one. Yeah, I'll just do that one. Um, yeah, so I have here, wait, um, yeah, no. oh well, I'll just turn it around and clean it later, because I have these um, wet towels that I'll clean my stuff with, but it's all the way there, I can't reach it right now, so, yeah, not too bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, just yellow. Just like that. And when people so I hear on workshops is that they don't like the stripe thingy on the um when using pastels. It's because you have to make sure it's flat. Like look, oh oh I have flat in mine and this is the side I use. You see that? Not the pointy side, but really that side. Make it flat. First, and if you and to make a start, you could use just a piece of paper and just do this for a while to make it flat. So yeah, and this is this is almost the same. This is where the pan pastel inspirations come from. This is soft pastels, you know. This was here before pan pastel. This was here before ink pads. So you can use this. And this one is much more affordable as well. I think that pan pastels are a bit expensive. Since like I don't know how much. And you get one color only. And you can buy these very cheap ones. And you have plenty of colors. Also, depends on the brand, of course. I have these cheap ones, and I have... Um, I use the cheap ones for the tutorials, but when I get an order or something, I use my Rembrandts. Those are very expensive, I think. I mean, I mean yeah, for coloring material, it can go up to like 50 euros. So, yeah, I'm not using those, or just 
Well, sometimes. Sometimes, if I just don't have the color, I, I use them for my, for my tutorials too. That's true. Okay, wait. Before I go on, and what I just do is just... And then you have this kind of setting spray. Or, um... Yeah, let me just call it setting spray. Especially created for um, soft pastels. And that will protect the color. I don't use those. Because, I don't know, it's just... I don't always keep all my creation. I try to like keep one or two or three. And I'm really those special ones, you know, but I give them away, of course, as well. Um, or I try to just use some base colors. So you can, you can always mix and match. So when you get when you have made a lot of flowers and now I really have to get my wet wipes. <coughs> so when you um you know then you can make a combo. And how to keep save them is like yeah, I just keep keep them in a box, and and then you know on the attic, and then take them out whenever you want to swap things, you know. And um, and I also think it doesn't really matter what flower goes together as long as the colors goes together. I think that's it. I think that's the trick, you know? Especially when it comes to just... Just make sure the, the colors. I think that's the part, important um, part. I'm just coloring them, not completely, because I'm just, I'm going to blend them. I'm just going to blend them, fade them, um, like... You don't have to completely do it yellow, you know, if you see a bit white here and there, that's okay, that will only make it natural. flattening and the embossing thingy not when you press too hard like I'm pressing and the embossing thing that veining thing that we did still there and as you can see I'm not sure if you can see but there are areas that are a bit white still yeah that's really hard to see right and the thing is with with flowers sometimes like they can look real in a photo and they can look real in real life as well but of 
course, when you come close, you will see it's paper. You know, there is, they look like, to a certain degree. So, yeah. And the trick is, is just the shading. The shading is what makes it look. And of course, the, te the folding techniques that you're using. Um, paper manipulation. I see a lot of um, makers out there. And... difference is with mine and their flowers is that I do a lot of paper manipulation and shaping the paper and that takes time yes but this will give you this result so I have here my embossing tool Et voila. I'm just gonna again the back gonna shape curl the petals like to the tip there as you can see I'm only doing the petals the area of the petal close to the center shaping them going from up to the center so yeah just like that turn it around and now we're going up to the top of the petal and then just shaping the center just the center Make it hollow. There. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do the pink. How silly am I? Okay, it's very important to have good makeup sponge. This one is bad, really bad. It's too, too much. I don't know. I don't like this one. And I just bought this for the workshops, but really never going to buy this one again. So what I'm going to do is, this one is good for f like making those flame effects. So, like, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the center going outwards, but not too much. And just, you can make it wet if you want. I think that's cool. And then just. Making those fast movements, so not one, but I'm doing like one, I don't know, one, two, three, yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and to get that, those flame effect, you know, that like, it's fire, can't really see. See, but oh yeah, here you can see, see that there, uh, there. That's what you do. You have to make it fast. Afraid to try? Try it first on a piece of paper. But again, you can use whatever you want. And you really have to turn the petals as well. The the flower tape and the um, yeah the flower template you really have to rotate it to get the angle because if you don't oh, you don't want to find out so, um, so that's that and then you think oh that's pretty you already not no I will also be using this pink and I'm gonna create more more flames. It's like I'm just drawing drawing stripes like really fast. To 
enhance those some. Um, really fast just and this I'm not coloring I'm really making literally I'm making stripes and then you'll be like why didn't you do that before it's a mix it's a combination of um of colors that will get you yeah this effect you know sometimes we just have to mix to get a certain effect and I'm not even gonna fade it I'm not gonna blend it I'm just leaving it the way it is and again you have this protection spray especially for if you like you could even use Mod Podge if you want so the color is protected and your petals will be shining that's okay too So that's the and the back side. Now when we look at that, we don't have to do the back. And now we come to the um, <coughs> this template. We have one, two, three, both those big ones here, yeah. and then two of those small ones. Now this is up to you. You can start with two of them uh, small ones or start with the three bigger ones and end with the small one um, let me show you here with the pink one <laughs> you can't really see because it's dark but here the pinks I started with two smalls and then three big um, but all the others I started with uh, three big and two small yeah you can't really see you can you all right I can see that you see that it's a bit hollow you see that there 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 there, there. the pink so try it out and both ways and see what you prefer and I'm gonna shake mine <laughs> um so this is the start. This is where you attach it later with the there. That's where you start. So keep that on the left side and if you're right and yeah, yeah. Whatever. So I'm just gonna shape them just like this. Whoops. Curl them a bit. Really fast. Give them a bit shape or else I think they're so flat and they will look paper. And like I said, um, people would normally not do this, but this is something that I do to make it less, if you don't want paper to look like paper, you have to, um, give it shape. As you can see, it's curling a bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to do this outwards. I want this pointing outwards, so I'm turning it at the back and then shaping it that way. So I'm turning it at the back. This is the front. That's the back with the strip where you glue pointing on the other side. And then I'm just shaping that. I'm going up and down. I want the petals, the pointy thing need to go, you know, a bit like this, just just like that. This this now um I am not sure if people are gonna struggle doing this. I'm sure there are people that are gonna struggle while doing this, but I think it's just practice I guess. And not to be afraid that you break something because some people are just too afraid to use pressure because they're scared that it might work. Don't be afraid. I'm sorry, I have to take a sip.
Um, yeah. You can also start with glue gun if you prefer, but then you have, really have to press them so it, it flattens them a bit. 